Hello friends, I am IPSC Sotkan world champion Jaakko Viitala. And in this video I will talk about dynamic shotgun length of pull and shooting stance. Before we can start fitting our shotguns for dynamic shooting, it is important to first understand why. The traditional shotgun dimensions are how they are. Generally, shotguns are set up from the factory for shooting air targets from a stationary position. This is how you will most likely receive your shotgun setup when you buy it. It makes perfect sense because for 99% of the shotgun owners this will be the correct geometry. So let's first go through how the shotguns are intended to be used. I have here my trusty hunting shotgun. Normally all my long guns are shorter and set up for dynamic shooting stance. But with additional spacers this is now set up for a length of pull of 375 mm which is also the factory standard length for this gun. Geometry is otherwise quite much identical to my IPSC competition shotgun. When I assume the traditional clay shooting stance We can see that the length of pull is pretty much perfect for an average sized man like me. In the traditional shooting stance, my left leg is pointing towards or slightly to the right compared to the direction that I'm shooting. My right leg is pointing more or less to the right. So we can see that I'm pretty much sideways to the direction that I'm shooting. We can see that the length of pull is good for me because mounting of the shotgun works great. My arms are in good natural relaxed positions. And if we make the two finger measurement test, we can see that the thumb to nose measurement is exactly what is recommended. The traditional stance has a lot of benefits. Pointing the shotgun comes naturally and the center of gravity of the shotgun is close to the body. So the shotgun handles, handles great. Mounting the shotgun comes easy and everything related to mounting and firing a few shots after setting up this stance will most likely be really good. If your goal is to shoot one or more, more air targets at a time from a stationary position, something like this is what I would recommend for you. Let's start looking how the traditional stance works in dynamic shooting. Certainly you can use this stance and there has been some very successful IPSC shotgun shooters who have done so. However, I would say that most of the top guys at the moment are not using this stance. But I'm not also saying that using this traditional stance is bad. Whatever style you choose, when you train it a lot, you will get good at it. The traditional stance has several effects that in my personal opinion are not optimal for dynamic shooting. When you are sideways, even when you lean against the shotgun, the amount of body mass you can put behind the shotgun is not everything you got. And shooting several shots tends to start rotating your body. So the recoil control could be improved. The swing of the shotgun is limited in traditional shooting stance without changing my position. Personally, I feel comfortable in shooting in about 90 degree angle. When we are shooting in difficult positions, for example, crouching, kneeling or prone, or towards strange directions in some awkward stance. 
In addition to the longer length stock, the sideways stance and limitation of the swing angle can make the difficult shooting more difficult. The biggest issue for me personally is the fact that setting up this kind of shooting stance does not come naturally. When I'm running from position to position in different directions, this kind of feet placement is not something that I would naturally come into with high speed. Also, uh, when I'm done shooting and start moving to the next position, I want my legs to be able to explode out of the position that I'm leaving. Also, because of the comfortable angle of swing in a traditional shooting stance is limited, it creates problems if you want to shoot on the move. Some directions are okay, but depending on where the targets are and what the movement direction is, shooting on the move can be quite difficult. To improve your overall performance in IPSC or dynamic competition, I would recommend using a different approach. Let's call it the dynamic stance. What I've noticed that many shooters adjust their style towards this naturally and unconsciously when they are faced with the challenges found in IPSC style competitions. I have a background in traditional shooting disciplines and that is how it happened to me also when I started shooting dynamic sports. The most aggressive dynamic stance would be following. Feet forward and chest forward to the direction that you are shooting. Shotgun stock directly under your eye, close to the center of chest. This would be like modern isosceles, but with a shotgun. My personal dynamic stance is not this aggressive. My right shoulder is a bit behind the left one and my chest is at a slight angle towards my shooting direction. I will not try to teach you that there is a magic stance that will work for everybody and for every situation. But my advice to you is that you should find your own dynamic shooting stance between the traditional stance and the most aggressive dynamic stance. In this demonstration, we can see the both stances at the same time. I would estimate my personal sweet spot to be where I come back from the most aggressive dynamic stance, approximately 20 to 30% towards the traditional stance. With any type of shotgun stance you use, the same guidelines of a good mount still apply. Your head is held straight, the stock is mounted to your cheek, and the aiming eye is directly behind the barrel rib at the correct height, so that the gun fires exactly where your eye is looking. What now seems quite obvious is that after changing my stance, the shotgun length of pull has become too long. Well, the shotgun is the same, but the shooting stance is different. The thing that you will most likely immediately notice is that bringing the shotgun to the shooting position has become more difficult. A shotgun that has too long stock will make it difficult to lean forward. Some shooters even start leaning backwards when they are first handed a shotgun that is too long. Your hands will not be natural and relaxed on a long shotgun. They feel that they are stretched forward. But I found out that actually shooting a shotgun that has too long length of a pull might still be okay. But of course setting up the stance and all the handling part is, is slow and cumbersome. 
These things are of course feelings. One actual way you can measure the length without a timer is the finger measurement test. And what we can see now that I can fit more than four fingers between my thumb knuckle and nose. Let's change the length of pull to fit my dynamic shooting stance. I have now removed 35 millimeters from the stock and the length of pull is now 340 millimeters. Personally, I like that the two fingers between my thumb knuckle and nose is the sweet spot for me. You might like a little longer or shorter stock and that is okay. But usually the optimal length of pull with a typical shotgun stock is found at 1.5 to 2.5 finger lengths between the thumb knuckle and nose. With this kind of setup you are likely to be able to control your shotgun well during shooting and also the mounting and handling of the gun will be most effortless and consistent. But I would give you a word of advice not to make your shotgun stock too short. While a shotgun that has very short stock can feel fast to handle, it can be difficult to control while shooting. Personally, I get problems to keep the stock mounted to my body and cheek consistently while shooting if the stock is too short. One of the downsides to dynamic shooting stance is that now we have moved the weight of the shotgun farther away from our body. So a little more upper body effort is required for the handling. Also the shoulder pocket where the recoil pad is very nice to put in the traditional stance will not work the same way in dynamic stance. Finding a consistent place for the, for the recoil pad can be more difficult, especially if it's not shaped correctly for your body and your stance. But I would remind you that the shotgun mount should always be made from the ready position to your cheek, not to your shoulder first. Mounting to your cheek will index the shotgun correctly every time. The dynamic stance will bring a lot of benefits. The maximum swing angle in dynamic stance will be around 180 degrees without changing your feet position. What this also means that the angle you can shoot when you are moving will be double than if it, you would be using the traditional stance. There will be much more freedom in the difficult positions when your stock is shorter and you can approach the difficult positions with a little more natural stance and body balance. The more you are facing the targets, the less shotgun recoil will rotate your body during the recoil push. Also, the amount of upper body body mass and leg power you can put behind the shotgun will be far greater than with traditional shooting stance. But the biggest benefit I find in dynamic shooting stance is that it allows me to enter and exit the shooting positions with a more natural way for the legs. Movement efficiency is a part of your competition score, so the faster you are able to move in and out of the required shooting positions, the better your score will be. For dynamic shooting, I recommend the dynamic shooting stance. What I would also recommend is to fit your shotgun stock to your body dimensions and shooting stance that you choose to use. 
adjusting your shotgun length of pull might require changing the recoil pads, adding or removing adapters or spacers, or cutting your stock shorter. This can be made for basically all shotguns and relatively easy solutions are available for dynamic shotgun models. This can take a little effort, but if you are serious about shooting, you should fit your shotgun to yourself, not yourself to your shotgun. I hope this was helpful. Thanks and see you in the next video.